you have an SUV or a mid-size pickup truck, we found some awesome travel trailers that weigh less than 5,000 pounds, GVWR. Stick around, folks. You're going to want to check these out. Hey everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And if you've seen us before on YouTube, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing us, welcome aboard. Susan and I make tons of YouTube videos all about RVing. And we hope you'll take a second and click the subscribe button on the screen right now and hit the notification bell when you do so that you'll be notified every single week when Susan and I put out a brand new video. But without any further ado, let's get into our reviews of small travel trailers that weigh less than 5,000 pounds. This travel trailer is the Jayco J Flight model number 184BS. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 3,460 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 1,040 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 4,500 pounds. It measures in at just 20 feet 8 inches long and it can sleep up to 6 people. When you first walk into this travel trailer on the right hand side is where the owner's bed is located Then it wraps around to the dinette and the kitchen area. To my left is where the bunks are located and right behind me is where the bathroom is. So here I am walking in through the front door and you'll notice off to my right hand side we have a bed that runs from side to side inside this camper. So how big is it? Well, it is about 80 inches by 60 inches wide so this is a full residential queen size bed that's in here now you've got a window on each side of the bed so you can get a nice little cross breeze in here up above you've got three storage areas two towards the front and one on the side and then towards the head of the bed there's a couple of usb ports as well we can also lift up the mattress and underneath of this bed there's lots and lots of storage space so here I am at the dinette, and the dinette is located in a little slide out, so it does help give some extra floor space inside this camper. You could seat four people here pretty comfortably, I think, although the, the booths really aren't that comfortable themselves. The backs sort of are too straight up and down for my liking, but um, you know, overall, you could squeeze four people in here and be okay. It's got a decent sized window over top of the dinette, and this table will drop down and create another bed. Now there's one feature about this dinette that's on a slide out that I really don't like, and that is that it sits up really high. Um, I mean, you have to step up, gosh, 13 inches just to be able to get your feet up and in here. And then it also has carpet on the floor instead of linoleum under the kitchen table or under the dinette table. So if you spill anything down there, it's gonna stain. Um, but there is a drawer down here for extra storage that you can find. And also if we did turn this into a bed, you would have approximately, I would call it 58 inches by 40 inches for a child, a small child to be able to sleep here. So here I am at the kitchen area right across from the dinette and this is what we call an inline kitchen because all of your kitchen appliances are right in one line. It's a very efficient and uh, easy to use kind of kitchen setup. Now up above here you've got your radio panel, then you've got some storage and then you have your microwave oven. Down below that you've got a true burner cooktop which they put in front and back style to allow for more countertop space. They put a small sink in here. I really wish this sink was larger. That's just not big enough to wash pots and pans and things like that in my opinion. But they did do a great job on countertop space. I would have rather have seen a, a little bit bigger sink and you still have some countertop space left over. Now below that you do have some storage underneath of your kitchen sink and plenty of it. And then beyond that we have our refrigerator. Now this is a really good size fridge. It's nice and big and deep because it's a 12 volt refrigerator. So it runs on a compressor rather than running on your propane. It'll run off your battery. Uh, and these are fantastic fridges. Here we are by the bunk beds back here, and Jayco did something pretty cool. They have two sleeping capacities on here for the top bunk. When you're sleeping on here, it can handle 300 pounds of sleeping capacity, so believe it or not, I could actually sleep up on this bunk. But when you're storing things back here, it can only hold 200 pounds, and the reason for that is when this camper is bouncing down the road, when you're traveling and you have things st stored up here, that 200 pounds 
you know, gets heavy fast and it could actually break the bunk. So you want to be careful if you store things up here to mind your weight limits. There's a little handle here. So whoever's climbing up here would climb up on the bottom bunk and then they could use the handle to pull themselves up in here. There is a window, a light and two USB ports, which is great. If a kid's sleeping up here, they can recharge their phone, their tablet, whatever they're playing on. Down below, a nice big bunk with its own window, light, no USBs, but it does have a receptacle down here so you can plug in and charge things that way and also for the top bunk if you need a receptacle just reach right around the corner and it's right here so here I am in the bathroom standing in the shower and let's see how much headroom we have here I'm gonna guess it's around six four maybe six five but let's see BAM six feet four inches I nailed it Decent amount of headroom for you taller folks. Now the bathroom in here has a nice surround built in. It's got corner shelves, actually on both corners, which is a nice feature. You can store your shampoo and soaps and things like that. And I'm also standing in a tub. Uh, so if you have little kids that take a bath, this will be perfect. There is a bit of a step up, but gosh, it's about 17 inches to get up and over and into the tub. And then finally, we have a little mirror here. There's no medicine cabinet or really any storage in the bathroom at all. Or sink. And there's no sink either. You'll have to use your kitchen sink to wash your hands. And um, that's not bad because if, if they tried to jam a sink in here, it just would not work. As far as the elbow test goes, not so great on that side. Perfectly fine on that side. Introducing today's sponsor, RV Snap Pad. RV Snap Pad is the world's only permanent jack pad. They're made for fifth wheels, motorhomes, travel trailers, truck campers, and much more. Snap pads were made to snap onto your levelers or stabilizer system and stay there for good. With snap pads installed, your RV will benefit from increased stability and protection for each landing foot, less sinking in soft surfaces, and you won't need to get under your rig to place and retrieve jack pads. We're partnered with SnapPad to offer our viewers a special discount on a set of Snap Pads. Just click the link in the description below or go to rvsnappad.com, enter in your RV info, and get an instant recommendation for the right size Snap Pads for your rig. Then use our discount code RVBlogger10 during checkout to get 10% off. Snap Pads are made in the USA and they offer additional discounts for veterans or first responders. Visit rvsnappad.com today for more info. This travel trailer is the Grand Design Imagine AIM Model 15RB. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 3,594 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 1,201 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 4,795 pounds. It measures in at 19 feet 11 inches long and it can sleep up to three people. When you first walk into this travel trailer on the right hand side, that's where the Murphy bed and sofa are located. Then we wrap on around to the kitchen and dinette area and in the very back of the trailer is where a full width bathroom is located. So here I am in the front of the travel trailer where you just come in from the door and I really like the design of this travel trailer. It's laid out really well and as we walk through you'll see why. Now at the very front here you've got your sofa location which is really pretty comfy, not bad at all. Underneath the sofa there's a couple of really big drawers here for lots and lots of storage. And then not only do you have a sofa here, but this is a multifunctional area. So it also serves as your bed. Now Grand Design does a great job with their sofas because this back piece just flops right on out. It just rolls right over, super, super easy. There's one clip here that holds the Murphy bed in place. And then you can lower down your bed platform and then lower down your mattress. Now we left the I guess the cover on here just to see if it stayed in place, but it, it fell off. I would imagine your sheets would stay on here okay. You could also wrap a bungee cord around it to keep all of the covers and sheets in place. So whatever you need to do there. Now you'll notice in the bed there's a couple of reading lights overhead on each side. There's also open storage above and then down below there's a cubby hole on each side of the bed that has a receptacle plus two USB ports. So if you need to plug in a CPAP, charge your phone, any of that good stuff, everything is right here for you. Now on each side of the bed, there's also a very large wardrobe closet. I would say this thing goes back almost three feet. So it's really, really a good size. Then you have a couple of drawers down below that. 
and then some open storage down below where there's a little magazine rack and also another receptacle on this side of the bed. Let's get a quick measurement on this bed in here. It looks to be 76 inches long and 60 inches wide. So this would be considered a short queen bed. One other nice feature is just inside the door, there's also a place to kick your shoes off. Now the kitchen in here is what we call an inline kitchen design. And all that means, if you've seen our videos before, you know it, everything's lined up in a line. It's a very efficient and convenient kitchen layout in our opinion. Now up top here, you've got these really nice big doors with plenty of storage behind them. Even more storage over top of the range hood. Down below that, you've got a nice two burner stove. And we like how there's a front and a back burner here. That way it creates a lot more countertop space because if these burners were turned sideways, then you would chew up a lot of your countertop space. So anyway, plenty of countertop. And then we have a nice big uh, single round bowl sink that actually everything flips up. So if you wanna put it down and create even more countertop space, you can do that as well. Down below the sink, we've got a little bit of open storage here. I guess you could use this as a spice rack or keep maybe some cleaning supplies or things in there. Down below that, plenty of nice storage below the sink. And then we've got a couple of drawers here that you could use for all of your kitchen utensils. And then finally, we have a convection microwave oven with a nice big pots and pans drawer down below that. Just beyond the uh, two burner range is where the refrigerator and even more storage is located. So up top here, you have storage that's about two feet deep and two feet wide, plenty of storage. Then you have your refrigerator here, which is a really cool design. I like it a lot. It's a little on the small side, but it's plenty of room at the same time for a long weekend trip or even a week. And then down below that, you have a pull out freezer with a drawer. So here I am in the dinette, which is right across from the kitchen. And I would say this is a pretty comfy dinette. You could easily sit four people here. You might be a little squished with four, but easily two. And um, the countertop does drop down. So this can become one more bed inside your RV. I do like this nice big window over top. And I also like the fact that the dinette is located on the camp side of the RV. What that means is that your view is gonna be of your picnic table, your fire ring. You'll be able to see people that are outside because this is the door side of the travel trailer. One last thing, let me just get a measurement here so you know how big the dinette bed is. This measures in at about six feet even, and it's about, uh, I don't know, 39 inches wide. So, you know, a decent sleeping space here. Just above the dinette is where the TV is located, and it's a great spot for a TV in here because you can see it from part of the dinette, you can see it from the sofa, and you can certainly see it while you're laying in bed at night, maybe watch a little TV before you go to sleep. I also like this wood rack that's around the TV. It just makes it look nice and finished and built in, and there's also a little open shelf here. You could throw your remotes up there so you don't lose them. So here I am in the shower like I usually am, and as you guys know, I'm 5'11", but I've got plenty of room over my head. I've got in the skylight area, six feet, six inches of height in here. So really, really good amount. Now, one other nice thing I like about this shower is that it's got a retractable shower door. You don't have a curtain blowing in on you. And it's a decent sized shower. It's got these nice corner shelves in here, removable sprayer. So just very well done. And also this bathroom extends the whole width of the back of this camper. So you really have a lot of space in here. So now Susan's in the shower and I'm on the other side of the bathroom and there is a rare glimpse of Susan. <laughs> Up top here, you'll notice we have a nice big mirrored medicine cabinet door. And this cabinet is deep. I mean, it is 12 inches on the inside. So there's plenty of storage room up here. Uh, very, very impressive and a very good use of space as well. There's also a couple of receptacles located underneath. So you can plug in your hair dryer, your shaver, whatever. Lots and lots of countertop space here with a nice little uh, vanity bowl. And then on the other side of me here, you've got a couple of drawers that pull out for storage. Now these are funny drawers because they've got gigantic drawer openings and the drawer itself is kind of small, but I think they did it just for decorative reasons to make it look a little nicer. 
Also outside, there is a pull-out tray with a griddle on top. There's a quick connect propane line right down below, so it's nice and convenient to cook outside. This travel trailer is the Airstream Caravel, model number 19CB. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 4,000 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 1,000 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 5,000 pounds. It measures in at just 19 feet, 5 inches long, and it can sleep up to four people. When you first walk into this travel trailer, on the right hand side is where the dinette's located. Then it wraps around into the kitchen area. And finally, we have the bathroom and the bedroom. So when I first walk into this travel trailer, it actually, for a small travel trailer, has a nice roomy feel to it, even though there are no slide outs in an Airstream. Uh, the dinette up here towards the front of this trailer is very comfortable. You could easily seat two people here and four if you wanted to squeeze in with everybody. You have this nice panoramic window in the front, which is just beautiful. You can open it up, get some nice airflow in here. And of course, there's a light overhead there's also an outlet on the far side of the dinette and the dinette itself, the table can drop down and this will convert into a bed. If you chose to do that, you would end up with a bed that's in the neighborhood of six feet by about uh, 40 inches wide. So you could sleep, you know, two children up here um, and I think they would have to be pretty small kids. Now above the dinette, you also have some storage area here. You've got your radio controls and a speaker on each side. So it really rounds out very nicely. Under this side of the dinette, there's a drawer you can pull out for even more storage. Now, just across from the dinette, you've got this nice little area with a whiteboard up top, a couple of places to hang your keys, and then a small pantry storage closet here as well. There's also open storage down below. Now, the kitchen in here is very, very efficient. Everything's very close together. First thing you'll notice up top here is that you've got these sliding glass doors with plenty of storage space up there. As we drop down, you have your range hood and then a two burner stove that are stacked one behind the other to give you a little more countertop space on either side. It's got a very small single bowl sink in here, not very deep. I'd like to see this a little larger maybe, but you do have a gooseneck faucet with a sprayer. Now down below the cabinetry and off to the side closest to the dinette, there is some open storage there. There's also a little bit of storage underneath the kitchen countertop or underneath the kitchen sink. And there are no drawers in here, so they do have a little utensil drawer and you just sort of slide it right into this spot. Then down below your cooktop, you have a convection microwave oven and a pots and pans drawer below that. Now, just across from the kitchen, we have some more storage cabinets above the refrigerator. The refrigerator itself is a little bit on the small side. This is really meant for a weekend type traveler. And then of course it has a ice tray up above. Down below that, we have a couple more doors for additional storage space. Finally, we're back here at the bedroom. Now this has a corner style bed. Some of you guys know what that means, that when one partner gets up to use the bathroom, they're probably gonna disturb the other person. But nonetheless, it tucks away nicely back here. The length of it is, gosh, about 76 inches and it's about 48 inches across. So it's gonna be a little bit of a tight fit back here for a couple. Now there's also storage overhead back here. And there's also a couple of reading lights underneath. Now the TV location is mounted right here at the foot of the bed. So it's perfect for being able to watch TV before you drift off to sleep at night. But the TV is on a swivel arm and it swivels all the way out. So you can also view the TV if you're sitting at your dinette having dinner. Just across and adjacent from the bed, you have a nice big wardrobe cabinet here. There's a shelf above for storage, but the tab cabinet is so tall, even with your hanging garments in here, you can still put things underneath of them on the cabinet floor for extra storage. Now the sink is located outside of the bathroom, which is a nice feature. If someone's in the bathroom taking a shower or going to the bathroom, your partner can be out here brushing their teeth, putting on makeup, what have you. First of all, we have a medicine cabinet above with a few shelves in there that are adjustable. Below that, we have a nice round bowl vanity sink with some countertop space. There's also receptacles here if you need a blow dryer or a shaver, and then additional storage space down below. So here I am in the bathroom and I'm actually standing inside the shower and 
you know, for being at the back of the camper where it begins to slope down a little bit, there's a decent amount of headroom in here. I'm 5'11", uh, but we have about mm, maybe six feet, one inches of headroom space in here. So if you're taller than that, you may have to crouch a bit. The bathroom surround is a very nice feel to it. You've got your soap and shampoo holder here in the front of the shower. You've got a nice wand that you can use. There's even a little clothes drying line if you have towels or wet bathing suits that you wanna have drip into the shower. Uh, behind me here is another towel bar and then there is a removable corner seat. And finally, there's a retractable shower door. So here I am on the commode just outside of the shower and as far as the elbow test goes, mm, not going to pass it on that side but I will pass it on this side. I also want to show the door configuration to this bathroom. It's really kind of a clever design. We have a situation in our Class C that's exactly like this where the doorway to get in and out of here would be too small if this was a solid wall. So what they've done is they've made a larger door that's hinged in the middle and so you can sort of close it and it just hooks into place with a magnet and then you can open it and the whole door swings a little bit. It just gives you that extra few inches of space that you need to get in and out of your bathroom. Now that you've had a chance to check out all three of these awesome travel trailers that weigh less than 5,000 pounds, let us know in the comments down below which one is your favorite and why. And if you'd like to see even more travel trailers that weigh under 5,000 pounds, just click the box down below and Susan and I will see you in the next video.